Hi, I found something a little nicer one out of that tree this time. Here we go. There you go, guys. I'd say it's probably about a ten and a half. Let me check it. Yep, probably ten and three quarters. It's a nice crappie. There you go. I'm not going to keep anything today, so uh, everything's going back in the water. Just the fun of catching the fish. I just heard it would sound like a big old bass jump over there. Man, you just can't beat the flight of these crappie. It's not quite as big as the last one, but I'd say he's probably still nine and a half. They're just tearing that minnow up today. There you go. He lives to get caught another day. Maybe by me, maybe by somebody else. But you can't keep everything you catch, guys. There's just no reason to. Unless it's like the only food you have. So let's get another minnow on and get back out there. I must drop the minnow. Of course, my boat's going all over the place, which isn't helping any. But one thing I did learn, you can get smack dab in the middle of crappie Turn your motor off, turn it on, splash your rod and reel in the water. And they stay there. They don't go. They just don't care. So keep that in mind if you ever like come up on a crappie spot and you get hung up. Get unhung. They don't care. There we are, guys. It's another small guy. I'm down. I caught him earlier. That's where I hooked him. You'd think he'd learn, but he didn't. Came back for it again. another little guy surely it can't be the same one now oh. there you go I don't even know about you shut that GoPro off Try the other side of this tree, see if we can find something. That's a little guy. Oh, okay, he was. We'll try it again. All right, all right, all right, all right. Boy, that was close. He almost swallowed it on me. He took it pretty hard. You know, just for grins, I'm seeing a ton of fish right here behind me. 
I might take my jigging rod and just kind of set it back here in the rod holder and see if I can't hook on something. I gotta get this hook out. It's pretty deep. He didn't swallow it, but he's close. All right, I went ahead and put this rod out here in the back. I don't know if you can really see it in the camera or not, just for giggles, because I've seen some fish down there. And lo and behold, I found me a crappie. He's not a big crappie, but still another fish just fooling around. So that was fun. I'm gonna try it again. Another crappie on the line. To be honest with you guys, I was kind of really hoping to get into a bass. Yeah, this guy saved a little too. He took it down deep too. But I was hoping to get in the bass because I'm gonna try to get in that uh winter bat that winter fishing tournament. So crappie aren't on the list for this uh first four weeks, it's the next four weeks. Yeah, I caught a couple. Crappie. Yeah, they're all over the place out here. Couple of big ones, couple, a lot of small ones. Oh, looks like I got something here, guys. Huh? Minnows. Yep. All right, guys, there's a kid going by up here on, on a bike. So I had to see if I was catching anything. But anyway, yeah, I want to get in that Sun King, Sunfish King tournament. But I've got to catch some eligible fish. And I haven't caught an eligible fish yet. I will before the weekend's out, I hope. All right, I'm going to get me a minnow back on the hook and... Uh, Try to catch some more crappie. There's another one. Holy crap. That dude jumped out of the water. And he hooked me up. Dang it. All right, I gotta turn this uh, trolley motor off. Hopefully we can get over here to get to him. Bad thing about the wind, it's you can just grab your line sometimes and take off with you. I have to drift in there where he's at. He's still on her, he's still moving my bobber. get to him in a second he's just not big enough to pull that bobber off that stick well, I thought he was on her he's off We got that unhooked. Sound like I scratched the crap out of my boat. Disturbed the area where I was fishing. I mean, right where I was catching fish. So just to prove a point, I'm gonna throw it back in there and catch another fish.
All right, I just hooked into another crappie in that spot I was just on top of. It took me a few casts to get them back, but they're there. I'm telling you, they just don't care. I'm about ready to change spots though, because that's all I'm catching out of that spot. Kind of what I, my take on crappie is, uh, they'll get into one spot and they'll school up, but they all, you know, a lot of them are about the same size. You'll find a few bigger ones or smaller ones, but this, that's just a bunch of small, but it still makes it fun to catch. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. I'm cold getting colder it's raining again not very hard but it's raining so i'm gonna go to my truck and get warmed up maybe go grab some lunch and i'm gonna come back and do some fishing on the spillway see if i do any good i did catch some crappie there yesterday so hopefully they're still in there and then if everything goes as planned we're gonna go fish a pond it's actually a pond that like when the river comes up, it floods it, and then it's kind of all in trap. There's still a little bit of water comes in and out, but not very much. So I don't think it gets fished a lot, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully I can catch, I'm gonna try it for a carp, maybe a catfish, and I'll throw minnows and see, if, you know, heck, there might be some crappie in there, I don't know. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate it. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed your fun fishing adventure today.